hi my creatives welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here please don't forget to subscribe like and share our videos i post videos every monday and wednesday so please stay tuned hit that notification bell to be notified whenever i post videos sometimes they tend to delay and instead of monday they come on tuesday but if you hit the notification bell you'll get to see it you'll get to be notified whenever I post new videos. All right, so today we are looking at this kaftan, this kaftan. I'm going to show you how I made it, plus how I added that lace design on it. All right, so let's get started. <music> For this video we are only going to need the less design and the fabric plus ch of course chalk uh, ruler pins and a tape measure so first of all fold your fabric into four four equal parts and then pin the edges i'm using chiffon fabric it's a, a heavy chiffon fabric so it kind of moves that's why you see um, I pinned it on the side so that it doesn't shift while I'm drawing my lines. So this is going to be like an off shoulder but not very far away from the neckline, from the neck depth. So I deducted 4 inches from the fabric. As you can see the tape measure starts above the fabric. So then I started marking my vertical measurements. Uh, I marked the bust at 10.5 inches. And uh, that is now the waist, which I am marking as of now. I gave it uh, 16 and a half inches. Then from the waist, I counted eight inches down to get my hip measurement. And those are basically the measurements you need for this kaftan. So re also remember you support these measurements are marked on the top on the right side of the fabric because that's where we're going to stitch. So for easy seeing where you're, you're supposed to stitch, mark it on top instead of on the inside. So yes uh, i only changed the from 16 and a half the waist measurement from 16 and a half to 16 and then the waist uh, the hip measurement i put it at 24 inches remember we are marking all our measurements starting from the top but remember we've deducted four inches because it's going to be slightly an off shoulder so now let's mark our horizontal measurements we start with our bust which is going to be to measure the bust you get your bust measurement divide by four remember the fabric is folded into four that's why we are dividing our horizontal measurements by four we are actually going to divide all of them by four so if your bust is 36 divided by four what you get is what you mark if your waist is 30 divided by four what you get is what you mark if your hip let's say is 40 what you get is what you mark you divide it by four if it's 10 that you get you divide it by four and that's what you mark so that's all i'm doing mark on all three on all three measurements mark your quarter measurement that's whatever circumference you get divide by four Then draw a joining line from the bust to the waist, then to the hip. 
and then after that we are going to draw a line we're actually at the hem at the bottom we are going to mark the same hip measurement but i decided to add uh, two two to three inches to the sorry we're going to to mark the hip measurement at the hem as you've seen me do um measure the hip measurement at the hem but remember after that add uh, you, for easy movement i i tend to add two to three inches for easy movements that when when you're walking it's the dress is not very tight at the bottom so i went on marking up to down up to the hem the close was too long it was about uh, 58 inches and it couldn't fit in the frame of the camera that's why you see, you're not seeing the lower part but just know i am marking i marked i marked my uh hip measurement hip quarter measurement then i added about two to three inches yes so just draw joining lines to be to be able to see where you're going to stitch so where you see the line is where you're going to stitch. Remember the stitches are going to be on top because we want this extra fabric to be seen on the outside. So don't turn your outfit inside out. Don't turn it. So as you can see from the top to where the bust is, we are going to leave it open. It's only where I have drawn the line that you're going to stitch. Now you can remove your pins and mark these exact measurements on the other side of the fabric so that it is easily visible when you're at the sew when you're when you're on the sewing machine So as you can see, I have marked on the other side too. So that's where you're going to stitch. Remember to leave the armhole open. Then uh, separate the sides also. Now get your tape measure and measure the top of the fabric. I got 40 inches. That would be like a uh, arm to arm where you would think shoulder to shoulder but then add the remaining the extra fabric to and measure it all around so mine is 40 inches and that's the list that i'm going to cut out then i'm going to show you how to attach it on the fabric sure it is well aligned on the fabric and then after that you can pin it so now this is it after stitching you can see the armhole is left open yes i attached the uh, i joined the shoulder bit but uh, eventually i'm going to to seam repeat and then redo it so i stitched um the sides the the wood beside seams i joined the two fabrics left the armhole open now you're going to fold by half an inch to him the side the extra fabric on the side just do it all around hem it uh, the bottom that the bottom hem i didn't hem it because the fabric already came well hemmed i don't know if i'm making any sense so that's why i i didn't bother i only hemmed the other uh, the, the side the side parts only just fold by half an inch fold twice half an inch and fold again by half an inch and then stitch 
as for our lace this is how it's going to be done so just place it flat on the fabric on the top of the fabric wherever you want it to sit just place it flat there And then you can put your pins, but that is where we're going to sew. I made two stitches to make sure it is really, really tight. I made one at the top exactly, and then made one in the middle. So that it doesn't keep flying, flying. So this is it after, after hemming and after joining my lace. This is how it looks like. finished hemming and joining the lace as you can see I told you I did two stitches so yes that is it but then I removed the shoulder joining stitch like I told you I changed the way I joined the, the fabrics together so now is when I'm going to join them together and uh, yeah you can see that the lace is stuck very well. So let's pin the fabrics together. Now I want to know my shoulder to shoulder measurement. But before I do that, uh, I, I measured to find the middle, the midpoint of the fabric. And then I marked that. Find your midpoint and mark it. Then it is it is what is going to give you um, your shoulder to shoulder measurement. But first get that midpoint. So if your fabric is 40, get the midpoint at 20 and then add your shoulder to shoulder measurement i use the six and a half on one side and then six and a half on the other side so that was my neck width i calculated that as the neck width and then i pin the two fabrics together make sure they are well aligned and then pin them together So pin all the way from the six and a half inches to the edge and then the other side do the same leave that neckline open like that yes so where you have pinned is where you stitch stitch all the way so as you can see i have finished stitching I use the straight stitch and yeah you can see it is well joined the neckline is open the armhole is open and all the other bits that need to be stitched are fully stitched we have our extra fabric as seen yes i'm going to put it on a dummy for you to see very well uh, i made this for a size extra large yeah as for a size extra larger so yeah let me show you how it's going to look on a dummy so this is how it turned out and i hope you love it don't forget to subscribe like and share if you want to order these kinds of kaftans in any color of your choice dm me on instagram at shooty creations or find me on TikTok at Nshuti Creations or comment here on YouTube at Nshuti Creations UG. You will still find me and yeah, we shall get in touch. That's if you're in Uganda. I haven't started exporting, so if you're in Uganda, you can order for them in any color of your choice. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned. 
it's a beginner friendly tutorial and it doesn't take that long all right see you in my next video that i'll be uploading soon bye